irresistible cinnamon eggy bread with quick stewed apples. Start off with a slightly stale bread. Four, five day old loaf left over. If it's a fresh bread, then it absorbs too much of the egg, so therefore it gets soggy and you never get it fried and crisp. And if you're not going to use it for breadcrumbs, eggy bread is a must. In France, they call it pan perdu, the lost loaf. Now, eggy bread is great on its own, but serving it with stewed apples is delicious. So the secret here, keep the skins on. There's a lot of flavour in the skin. And also, it stops the apple from breaking down too quickly. You get these nice chunks, as opposed to a sort of apple puree. Mm. Now, get your pan nice and hot and sprinkle a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Take the sugar down to a light caramel. It's quite incredible how cheap it is to make this, and yet it was so filling. If you haven't got apples, this recipe will work pretty much with any fruit you've got in. Don't be scared to mix a pear and an apple, a banana and a pineapple. Just stew it. Lightly toss in the caramel. Get a little knob of butter. That makes a nice toffee apple flavour. Really simple. Now, you can see what's happening. The apples are caramelising, but they're staying intact because the skin's on the apple. And the caramel's turned into this nice, rich butterscotch sauce. Once you've glazed all the apples, a couple of tablespoons of water in there. Bring that to the bowl and let that cook out. Now, the eggs. Three whole eggs. Whisk up the eggs. Add about four tablespoons of milk. You want the egg thick and rich. And then lightly sprinkle in a couple of tablespoons of sugar. That sweetens up the mixture. And when you start frying the bread, it caramelizes it beautifully. A teaspoon of powdered cinnamon. That gives the bread that really nice spicy deliciousness. Apples are glazing beautifully. You put them on a low heat and get a pan on now for the bread. A teaspoon of oil that stops the butter from burning. Butter in. So that starts frothing. Get your bread in. It's going to be pretty quick now. Now you don't leave the bread soaking. Drain and in the pan. Once your eggy bread has browned, flip it over. 90 seconds each side. That butter gives that nice golden brown colour of that egg. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's quite remarkable, isn't it? A couple of eggs, a splash of milk, leftover apples, and all of a sudden you've got this stunning breakfast. Now, my apples, they've all glazed beautifully. Get a nice spoon of that amazing juice and drizzle that over. Mmm. Wow. If my mum saw me doing this, she'd kill me. You're getting all posh again. No, no, mum. I'm using a touch of ice sugar to make it look stunning. And that, for me, takes me back to when I was six years of age and I thought I'd just won the lottery. That is incredible. Thank you, Brad. You won't get more breakfast for your buck. My mum's incredibly delicious cinnamon eggy bread with quick stewed apples.